What's up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Basara 2 Heroes! Alright, so since last time, it appears that out of necessity, I suppose, or maybe uh, out of reluctance, I suppose, uh, Masamune has gone into the custody of his arch-rival, Sanadayuki Mura, for um, sanctuary and for in order to be healed. So we're going to go bust him out, as we do. So again, Kojiro is going to go break into the Takata Fortress and get Masamune out. So he basically is on a solo suicide mission to free uh, Masamune and his men that were trapped there by uh, uh, Masunaga Hisahide. So again, this actually is very similar to the plot of the anime in the, uh, the plot point about the siege of uh, Nagashino. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, so the Battle of Nagashino. Um, this was a this was basically where the plot really started happening for real in the anime. It wasn't all fun and games anymore after this point onward. So basically, we had um, uh, lots of things were going on at this point. So Azai Nagamasa and Oichi were introduced at this point, and um, uh, Azai Nagamasa was protesting uh, Oda Nobunaga's forces marching on Asakura, and instead. Um, Nobunaga mandated that Azai go there instead. Meanwhile, um, uh, Takeda Shingen was trying to form alliances with the majority of the armies in the region, including a young uh, Tokugawa Ieyasu. And uh, in doing so, didn't realize that Tokugawa Ieyasu was going to double-cross him because he wanted to ally himself with the strongest faction. So basically, Ieyasu's forces at the time were open to the highest bidder. And it ended up being like a five five way brawl or whatever, and it was a really bloody battle, and nothing got solved except for uh, Masamune getting uh, shot by um, Nobunaga's Archibus Corps. So that was definitely bad. He got his helmet knocked off, and he got a shot in the chest. So while recovering, the all the armies decided to have a temporary alliance in order to uh, sort of reformulate their strategy and gang up on Nobunaga, as it were which is the majority of the rest of the plot for Season 1 of the Basra anime. So that basically involved, uh, again, Masamune taking refuge with the Takeda clan uh, here. And so Kojiro is a little bit more calm about the whole thing in the anime, of course. He wasn't cutting up a bunch of Yukimura soldiers to get him back, like he is here in the game. So that was an interesting plot point. That actually led to the, um, to the introduction of Masunaga Hisahide in the anime. So they really did try to incorporate a lot of plot points from Basara 1, 2, and 2 Heroes all into the first season of the anime and then leave certain aspects for season 2 of the anime. And they really did a very good job of that. They, the story is very well handled in the Basara anime even though season one story can be a bit convoluted and season two story is really where it's at. But I do give them credit for incorporating all these different uh, facets from the game in there and still making it a cohesive narrative. So, um... Kojiro's Fury Drive is full. We'll probably try to use that in this video. I want to talk about the new uh, secondary attacks, the new arts I've equipped for Kojiro. So the one we have is the uh, the Crescent Moon Slash attack, as you can see there. You can hit it twice and he'll do an upward slash and a downward slash. But it actually combos very well with your normal, uh, your normal combo attacks. Uh, if you attack every so often, then you can kind of follow it up with... Um, with one of those, and it's actually pretty effective. As you can see, we're not using Kojiro's standard swords here, we're using one of his unlocked ones. So we can hopefully unlock one of his later level ones by the time we're done here. Um, these are not elemental in any kind of way. His normal swords are regular katanas, but they have a couple of unique characteristics. You have uh, one that has a white wrapping on the grip. Again, there's a name for that. I think it's the... Um, I'm not going to try to remember right now. Again, I, I don't want to butcher the uh, the name of any particular piece of a katana, because every little part that makes up a katana has a Japanese name. But again, the wrapping is black on one and white on the other. And they have, a, uh, they have an inscription in kanji on the blade itself that says, um, Boten Maru will be the, right, the one-eyed dragon that soars the heavens, or something like that. Something to that nature. And it's basically a reference to Masamune and how he's constantly there to support Masamune. And that becomes a plot point in the anime as well when, um, uh, again, Masamune's dragon claws get undertaken or he's incapable of using them So um, against uh, Hideyoshi. So again, uh, as far as this plot point goes, again, as I, uh, not as I, um, Masanaga Hisahide was introduced in the anime when uh, they were taking refuge under the Takeda clan 
and then uh, those quirky little soldiers that Masamune has go missing, and so obviously they go track them down. Um, again, I don't want to get too sidetracked off topic here, so again, what we're doing right now is we're trying to hold this bridge against an army. And you know what they say, uh, death to every man on this earth, death cometh sooner or later, and how can a man die better than facing fearful, fearful odds? Um, so again, Kodro's secondary abilities, the other one is sort of like a Fury of Slashes. It's not as good as, say, Takanaka Hanbei's, but it's still pretty useful, and he sort of lunges forward a little bit when he's done with it, so I like that quite a bit. But I like some of the other moves we've shown off already. I like the, um, the sort of lightning dash attack that he had in the previous video. And that combos pretty well, again, with the Crescent Moon Slash. Um, seeing how fluent those attacks can be in Bossera 4, again, is really impressive. Kodro is not playable in Bossera 3, but they made him playable again in Bossera 3 Utage, the expansion of Bossera 3, which I will not be less playing, unfortunately. Um, I'll just be going straight from 3 to 4. So you guys will definitely see Kodro again in 4. I will make sure of that. So again, um, it, it, one of my viewers implied, and again, I wish I could see this comment, but I guess it got deleted off the video or something like that? I didn't do that intentionally. I don't know what happened there. But uh, somebody wanted to emphasize how um, Kojiro is sort of Masamune's caretaker, I guess, when he was younger, and that Kojiro is a bit, uh, quite a bit older, maybe even a full decade older than Masamune. And while, uh, as far as I can tell, that is true, I don't know how true that is to actual legend, because as far as I know, um, Kojiro, while, you know, maybe this particular iteration of Kojiro is based off a real person, similar to, um, like, Saratobe Sasuke and some of the other characters, it was more of a title that was bestowed upon a particular person and not really a one individual person that existed. It was sort of a title that multiple different people had over the years. And uh, there are no real uh, factual records to back up the existence of this Kojiro figure, which is unfortunate. Um, there is actually a, I think there's a monument to Kojiro at the, um, the Sengoku Shrine in Japan for, for Masamune, for the Date clan, I should say. Um, which I really want to go on that tour. Apparently Japan has a Sengoku tour where you can go and visit all the historical sites and read up on some of the history, and I would absolutely love to do that. And apparently, like I said, the Date clan one actually does have Basara um, advertisements and merchandise there, <laughs> and there's a shrine to Kojiro. But anyway, um, again, they wanted, to, they wanted to imply, whoever made that comment wanted to imply that um, Kojiro, again, was at, at a time sort of Masamune's caretaker, and I like that, but again, I don't know how necessarily true that is, because I know Masamune in real history was kind of a little brat. He basically just stabbed his own father, and, or shot his own father in the back um, as a 10-year-old, so he could, you know, glorify himself or whatever, whatever reason he did it for, so Masamune was quite young while the, uh, the contesting for the War in States actually took place. The conflict uh, that actually concerned uh, Nobunaga, Hideyoshi, and uh, Ieyasu, so. All right, so now we're fighting Sanada Yukimura. So, I haven't, there's not really any time in the anime, as far as I recall, and correct me if I'm wrong, where Kojiro and uh, Yukimura fight like this, but I do know that um, Yukimura has an immense amount of respect for Kojiro, and I think most people would be willing to bet that on a good day, Kojiro would most likely win, just because he's more patient more mature and more skilled, and that Yukimura is reckless and hot-headed, and uh, that's why he sort of makes a better match for Masamune, even though Masamune has some of the hot and most raw power of anybody in Basura, uh, him and Yukimura just make good matches for each other because of their blazing spirit, as they would say. But again, Kojiro is very tactical and cunning, so I think he, he wins out the majority of the time. Um, there's only a couple times where Kojiro is just out-muscled by somebody, um, namely against Mitsunari in the beginning of Boss Red Judge End, but we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that at all. Yeah, uh, Kojiro had it rough in Judge End, and again, Judge End is the adaptation of Boss Red 3, the standalone adaptation of Boss Red 3 that doesn't have to do with the prior existing animes or the movie. And it's really kind of a shame the way they portrayed Masamune and Kojiro in that series. They really did not give them any, they really didn't do them very well at all. I'm looking for some health if I can find some. I'm pretty low. Even though uh, Kojiro is pretty hardy, he's got some decent stats. I think he's got stronger defense and more health than Masamune does. I'm actually going to use the Fury Drive here and show that off for Kojiro. Again, it just makes him move a lot faster. 
I think he moves about 20 to 30 percent faster, and uh, his attacks deal slightly more damage. This is true with every character that uses the Fury Drive and everything. I like that the icon for that changed for Boss or Two Heroes. And their fight choreography is pretty nice. Looks like you were too slow, young cub. Alright, we managed to get Masamune away. We'll have him recovered in no time. 